Hi and welcome back to my channel and I left off with painting that wall in the back bedroom. At the moment I'm downstairs and I'm painting some of the furniture and also I've got some deliveries, some exciting deliveries to show you. So yes, um, let's start with this ottoman I got from Amazon which is this lovely blue ottoman. It's going to look lovely in the bedroom because it's obviously going to be the blue and white so I've got that and um, yeah I can't wait to put that one up. I've also been painting the furniture into a nice chalk white and hints of a little bit of gold so it looks elegant. <music> So I have some very exciting deliveries and yes, these are from George Asda. Here I have this lovely lampshade that I'm going to be using for the bedside table. So I just want to get this out and show you what it looks like. Um, I really liked it. I was actually pretty much surprised that George Asda even had a light that looked like this. And the only reason I found it was because I did a Google search on these colours and that image came up and I went in and it was from Asda. But it is one of the most expensive lights in the shop. It's about £35 for this. But I'm not going to be using that stand. I'm going to be using my gold IKEA one because I like that better. So, yeah, there we go. I really, really like it. I'm just putting it up against the furniture and I think it's going to look really, really nice and stand out. So, yeah, I'm happy about that purchase. So I want. And in this box, we have some great deliveries. I can't wait to show you. I have three new cushions that I got from, would you believe, George Asda to show you what else I've got. So here I have a load of cushions and I'm going to be putting this onto that ottoman, that blue ottoman. So I've got all different shades of blue, different types, different sizes. I didn't want them all the same. I think it looks nice when you've got all different contrasts of um, fabrics as well. So these are the three that I've chosen. And I also found this lovely stoneware vase that was only £10 and it was in the sale so I got that as well and I think um, yeah I don't know if I'll put that in my room but I'll put that somewhere in the house but I really like that. Okay so come with me to my bedroom now and if you have a look I've managed everything's dried now I've pushed the bed up against the wall the furniture's in the lampshade is in that is that lampshade with the gold holder which I prefer the gold stand which I prefer a lot better um, yes the paneling looks great I'm really happy with it I've also painted the mirrors that used to be up on the wall that I got from Del Elm. They were like a chrome, so I've painted those white as well. I think you saw them downstairs, so they'll go up on the wall. I need to drill in new holes. This gold mirror will also be hanged up um, as well. That needs to be drilled. That's going to be done for another day. I've also put um, some panelling around the mirror that was up here. So I just think it's going to give it a more pop effect with the panelling and, and um, yeah, and also um, the little bit of wall I had down here did another segment of panelling on that. I wasn't going to do that. I was going to leave it plain, but I think it looks better. That's the ottoman over there. Um, I did have a load of things there and I just needed to make it look a lot neater. I put the cushions on top. I'm going to get another ottoman actually um, to replace the grey one that I have at the end of my bed. I just prefer this one with the velvet. I think it looks a lot nicer than the one I've got plus my one. The lid is broken. So this is what it all looks like at the moment in my room. Right now, part two, we're going to have to do the other side of the room. So I've shifted all of that furniture to one side and I'm going to strip the wall um, with the wallpaper stripper that I showed you in the previous video. So we're going to do that and um, then we're going to get that ready for painting. So I have stripped that off. I didn't want to bore you with that process and it is again a nice pink wall. Um, yeah, three layers of um, 
wallpaper and um, we have a lovely pink wall here and um, ready to be painting it white so it was a nice sunny day as well whilst doing this so I think it's all going to dry nice it's good to have nice ventilation when painting um, so here we go this is my first coat of paint on there and I think I'm going to need maybe four or five coats just to give it that strong um, brilliant white I, I like to do a couple of coats I don't mind and when you've got a roller it isn't that hard the wall I mean it's not a big wall so it won't take me long it's the drying process but with the windows open like today and the sun's out I think it's going to dry a lot faster I've also um, repainted here as well so as I'm going along, I'm doing all my little touch up. So that's looking great um, at this point. So, yeah, so I think I just need a couple of more coats. It's hard to show you. I'm not sure if you get picking this up because the lighting with the sun. So here we go. We're getting more paint on this wall now. And you can see that it's starting to get solid, um, the white. So, yeah, no more pink kind of seeping through here. So yeah, so I still think we do need a couple more coats and then at the end of this day we'll be pushing the furniture back. I can't do the panelling today because the panelling hasn't arrived. So that's going to have to be done another day and I need to have access to the bed so I need to push everything back. It just means a bit of work but it's not a problem until the panelling comes then I can um, proceed. So, like I said, I'm doing a couple of coats here as well, just to um, get this solid as well. But yeah, all in all, I think we're doing a great job and um, yeah, it's starting to look good. I just hope this dries before it gets late because um, we need to be moving the furniture back. Everything needs to dry so that we can move everything back for this evening. So yeah, so it's pretty good at the moment that um, we are having um, longer evenings. It's not getting dark. Um, I'm also going to think about doing something here as well. I'm looking at this sticky stuff that I have on my windowsill and I'm thinking of eventually taking off. It's very hard to get off, but you know, once you start a job, you have to finish. I'm going to do all this white. I think it would look better um, with some tile paint because they are actually black tiles there. So I'll do that as well. So yeah, so eventually everything dried and we put everything back. So here I'm in John Lewis and I'm looking for cushions. I like this cushion here. It was 20 or 15 pounds from John Lewis and they do have a lot of cushions. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just looking for maybe some more cushions for the other Ottoman that I get. I'm not really finding what I'm looking for here. But um, yeah, it's all, always good to go out and have a look as well and also touch the fabrics. I'm in Delaume at the moment here and I'm looking also for some flowers for my bedside table. So these ones are £5. So I'm thinking, I'm looking at all the blues at the moment. So anything blue, which is which is good because I don't need to look at all the flowers. I can just look for the, the blue ones. So yeah, because I know they're having a lot of Easter things in at the moment. So a lot of yellows, a lot of creams so yeah I mean something like these two would be nice or maybe just one of each because five pounds is quite expensive for just these little flowers um yeah so here's more blue ones as well but they're very big um I'm looking for something petite something small I don't need one a big overpowering in the bedroom these are nice little pretty blue ones as well I'm also looking at the cushions in Dunelm this is the kind of blues that they have in at the moment and again not what I'm looking for but you know nice so I've got a few things from Dunelm and I'll show you that in another video what I've got so we'll do a little haul um, so there's my bag there and we're just going to have a nice Costa coffee before moving on to HomeSense because we'll have a look in there as well because HomeSense is not far from here so there we go walking down to home sense and they have a if you're into the easter now they've got everything in it's february so everything's in for easter now so yeah it's, if you're thinking and planning ahead get down there they've got some great stuff in so much to look at i couldn't look through it all because i'm busy now with the bedroom project so yes we're looking at the cushions as well um, in the blue range what they have 
and again even in um, HomeSense um, this is in the clearance I didn't find what I'm looking for I think I'm looking for something unusual so I started looking at the artwork um, just I like artworks I'm looking for artwork as well um, in HomeSense because they have some great ranges of things in there so yeah so just was looking at those and they have some nice ornate frames as well and they're in home sense it was great because I didn't think I would find this but I started to look at some vases for those flowers um, and also candles they do have I mean look at these candles pretty candles with um, quite floral light blues and they, they had the, them again in the yellow and they also had them in the top with the pink I was tempted and the reason I didn't buy it was because I didn't like the smell but this French vanilla oh this was lovely this French vanilla was lovely these ones this range never seen them before and this one as well was $14.99 the smell was beautiful so that was a really big candle um, so yeah I was just looking around in home sense because I think they have such a great range of things anyway lots of different pillows lots of different cushions I did see um, a cushion that I would have liked for the end of my bed actually because I like small pillows at the end of my bed but they didn't have a pair they only had the one they had some lovely cups in here as well look at these cat cups these blue the nice floral cups I like home sense for cups if you're anybody who likes cups then home sense is the place they have a big range look at this beautiful blue and white floral cup here but look at the range of cups I mean look loads and loads of cups in home sense and um, yeah you can be lost so as i was going home i just saw these birds um i couldn't believe all this bread that was left for the birds but we'll end this video here and see you again for the next video i'll be doing my haul so can't wait to show you some of the great things i've got for the bed so bye for now and i'll see you in the next one